Hi guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the hardest part of adoption for me as an adoptive mama of five beautiful babies. In this story, we're gonna get a little bit deeper to the mean people that say things to our kids. This is definitely a part of adoption that I'm never gonna get used to. I can never educate myself enough. It is always going to be something that is thrown at us at unexpected times. I'm not gonna be talking about race or culture or all those different things that make our family beautiful and how we navigate all that. This is a personal story about adoption in general. Being an adoptive family, people are going to be curious, they're going to be nosy, and they're going to want to know why you're adopted, where you came from, where your real parents are, all these your real siblings. Some people are a little bit more bold than others, so it's definitely going to come up and it's important to educate your children on what kind of things they would be comfortable saying back. I really feel like if you equip them with things to say, they're gonna be more confident in that moment, and if they say it effectively, you know, usually people will drop it and just move on. Now, some kids are comfortable talking about their background and why they're adopted, and some kids are not, and frankly, it's nobody's business that's how I feel about it so I have equipped my kids with some certain phrases to say back to people the hardest part for me as an adoptive mama is people saying really hurtful and mean things to my children talking about adoption in a negative light so one of my daughters and one of her friends in the neighborhood, they were having a disagreement. There was a little bit of bickering back and forth, and I don't know what happened. There was a misunderstanding, but they were not getting along. My daughter's friend went back home and told her older sister that they were not getting along. And her older sister told her to tell my daughter something very, very cruel surrounding adoption. A little girl came back and told my daughter the reason why she was acting that way and the reason why they were fighting is because she's adopted, and get this, she was left on the sidewalk and she was knocking on doors. That is literally the most hurtful thing that someone can say. They're not asking if they're adopted or where their parents are, they're literally telling them that they were abandoned outside by their birth parents and they were knocking on doors trying to find a home. So this story, this hurtful story that was told to my daughter was influenced by an older sibling in their teens. So does it make it right for that little 10 year old girl to say that to my daughter? No, but it just shows you how other people in the household can influence. Older siblings and parents teach their children is what they're going to project to the world. So even if you are not an adoptive family, it's really important for you to talk to your kids about adoption and how it's sensitive to other kids. They shouldn't make up things. They shouldn't tell them that they are different because they're adopted and they really shouldn't be asking about like where their birth family is. It's very sensitive and it's not something that adopted children need to tell people. It's not their obligation and their burden to have to tell you their story. So obviously mama and dad were extremely heated to hear that someone said that to our daughter. So she didn't initially tell us what had happened. Um, at dinner, she was acting kind of like distant and sad and I kept pressuring her like, "Let's, what's going on with you? And then she laid it out and said, my friend said that I was adopted and I was left on the sidewalk and I had to knock on doors to try to find a family. And she said that and it really hurt my feelings and that's why I'm in a bad mood, I'm sorry. And I'm like, <sighs> First of all, don't be sorry. Second of all, please come to me right away so that I can talk to you about it and we can work through it. So how my husband and I handled this is we sat her down and we said, baby girl, you were the most loved and special and chosen and wanted child ever. You were never on the sidewalk. You were never knocking on doors. Mommy and daddy raced to the hospital with baby stuff and in our smiles and we raced through the halls and going up the elevator to meet our daughter. And the moment we saw you, we smiled. We were so happy to see you and you were the most loved baby when mommy and daddy came to take you and Ace from the hospital. You were always ours from the moment you were born. And your tummy mommy, she loved you so much and she chose us to be your parents. And I'm sure she still thinks about you every single day, just like mommy and daddy think of her and are so thankful for her and it's okay for you to think of her too. 
having this conversation made me realize that I really need to sit all of my kids down as a family, as a group, as a unit, and tell them all how loved they were but not only that how lucky they all are to have each other because girlfriends will come and go but you sisters you four sisters you will always be there for each other you will always be forever sleepover buddies read books together and if you go to a new school you are buddies there on the playground you will always have each other and how lucky they are to have each other regardless of friends come and go so I think it's really important that we equipped our children with what they should say back to people when they question their family or if they're adopted, if they're not, or think they know what their life was like. My husband chimed in and he was just like, guys, are you adopted? And they're like, yeah. He's like, no, no, no. Are you adopted? Say yes. Yes, I am, and I was loved, and I was chosen, and yes, this is my family. We're an adoptive family. We all were loved, and we were all chosen, and we all belong together. So I test my kids every day when I pick them. I'm like, hey guys, how was your day? Are you adopted? And they're like, yes, mom. Yes, I am. <laughs> It's okay to be adopted and if people are gonna ask, yeah, I'll tell you, I'm adopted, but they do not have to tell them their life story. And it's really important, the more you talk to them about this and equip them with answers and things to say back to people, the more confident they are and the more it's just gonna kind of roll off people's back and they're gonna move on. Having a quick snack, you guys know I love Built Bars. Protein, 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 19 grams of protein in this one is the chocolate peanut butter one, in case you're wondering. I have this around 11, 11.30 every single day and it's 11.20 right now. <laughs> you guys need a new snack with loads of protein that's 100% chocolate and tastes exactly like a candy bar. I'll put the link below. You can check out Built Bars. I have one of these every single day. Mm. I don't know why kids are so cruel. Like that is like, it makes my heart hurt. And I think the thing that hurt the most is this little girl is black and i was so excited for them to have this relationship and i saw them playing outside and it just made me so happy that she had such a strong connection with, and that is really important to me the fact that she would say that to my daughter um when she's supposed to be like her sister and you know her friend and someone to support her really really hurt me even more because i wouldn't expect it from her but it just goes to show you that it has nothing to do with race. It is all about the parenting, how you teach and how you educate your children to say things that are kind and not things that are unkind. I don't know, I just, we all need to teach our children. So I hope you guys learned something from that really personal story. I wasn't sure if I was gonna share it or not, but I really think that personal experiences are definitely teaching moments. And if you can learn off my story, that's definitely a win. So thank you all for coming to my little chit chat, personal story about how we can equip our kids to respond to those conversations and questions that people really shouldn't be asking our children, but it's going to happen. It's always gonna be the hardest part of adoption is what other people say to our children. That's the one thing that is not taught and it's just, you're gonna learn in that moment. It is such a hard part about adoption. I don't know. You just never know when it's going to get you. You never know when your child is going to come home and say like, oh, this person said this on the playground or this person said, asked if I was adopted or if that's my real mom. It's it's going to happen. It, ha it has happened to every single one of my children, regardless of the color of their skin. <sighs> okay, guys. Keep on going. You got this. I'll see you next time.